I love the taste of milk, Max. It's a great taste. Mm -hmm. Which is why, for the pleasure of a tall, tasty glass, I'd do almost anything. For the smooth, cool goodness of milk, I'd fly to the farthest galaxy. For the cold, refreshing taste of milk, I'd crawl through the burning wasteland. For one satisfying, yummy gulp of milk, I'd stretch myself to the limits. I do homework, Max. Wow. Milk. It tastes so good. Crazy Charlie was on the loose, but so was a maniac. Let go, maniac! Crazy Charlie was crazy to think he'd escape a Lego maniac. Going to build. The Lego System Town Rescue Collection. Each set sold separately. Maniac not included. Today. A whole new level of fun. Why wait until dark for a spine-tingling story? For chills and thrills, it's Tales from the Crypt Keeper, premiering today. Now stepping up to the free throw line, number 97, Mike the Spike. This is it, folks. If the Spike makes this basket, he'll win the game. He shoots. He misses. So, Spike, aren't you supposed to be monitoring an experiment for Dr. C? Yeah, I'm waiting for this blue stuff in the beaker to turn orange. Then I'll turn down the flame. Orange? You mean like that? Oops. I would have seen it in a minute. Now I'll wait for it to turn green. In the meantime, I'm practicing my hook shot. Yes, well, don't quit your day job. You know, I don't believe that hoop is out of range for your shooting arm, Mikey. What you need is some kind of device that will throw it farther than you can. Uh-oh. I got a feeling there's a story coming on. Something about long ago in Woollyville. Yes, indeed, Mikey. Just sit back and prepare to be mesmerized by my tail. Bill fell into a glacier. It was like a big deep freeze. But he was brought back to life to his surprise in the 20th century. So listen as Bill takes us back to wonders of long ago. And weaves a tale of Holy Bill and an Ice Age boy named Delicious. Try my new more chocolatey cocoa pebbles. Looks more chocolatey. Mmm, tastes more chocolatey. Uh oh. Bonnie, my pebbles. <laughs> You're a genius. Post cocoa pebbles cereal, part of this complete breakfast. It's Barbie new pet. Tag along, Wags, and tag along to the having fun on the run. They're really moving. Cruising the mall, taking a stroll. <laughs> it's Barbie Wags and Tiffy on a run. Going out on the town, up for a party, only Wags and Tiffy moves everywhere with Barbie. Wags and Tiffy on the run. No wonder Barbie's <laughs> having so much fun. We've got something special. Tag along Wags and tag along Tiffy have wheels so you can really make the move. Pets, Barbie doll, and fashion sold separately. And now, back to the show. of animal? You spoon! Hey! Ooh, that's fun way to use spoon! Hey! Hey! <laughs> they missed me! <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Crow! Something bad in air. Not me! Not me! Uh-uh. 
And then he saw a big cloud shaped like duck. And giant sloth see his shadow today. I'm saying bad thing gonna happen. Again? Nandy said that all the time. She could be right this time. It won't hurt to be ready just in case. We could at least, um, bring some food in the cave or something. Crow, very smart boy. I'm smart too. I'm gonna go, gonna go, go. Get big rocks to close up cave against bad thing. I'm gonna say that. Come on, Taka. There's a great melon patch on the other side. Nandy likes to have plenty of food in the cave just in case a bad thing ever really does happen. Well, I just hope it doesn't happen while we're on the other side, Crow. You're not scared, are you, Paka? <laughs> no, I I'm not. But what about Steamer? He's just a kid, you know. Just what there's your rotten egg. Whoa! <sighs> yeah, the poor kid's terrified. <laughs> Come on, Crow. Let's go find those melons. It's gonna be hard to carry rocks to front of cave like Nandy want. Uh-huh. No worry. Ugg has smart idea. We throw rocks to cave. Watch Ugg. Huh? Help Ugg. Help Ugg more. Working real good now. Huh? Where rock go? Ugg find rock? No, rock find Ugg. Hey, Crow! I found the melon patch. Great! Nice crop this year. Did you really have to bring him along today, Packa? Sorry, it's my day to watch him. Hey, save some for me, will ya? Will you, Packa? I've got a better idea, Crow. Instead of us both going up and down carrying melons, maybe you can just toss them up to me. Hey, that's a great idea, Packa. Haha, <laughs> 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 uh -huh, very funny, laughing boy. Hey, Steamer, pull that tree down again. Pull it way down. What are you doing, Crow? This tree is all springy, just like the spoon I used to throw Mung and Og this morning. I don't get it. Well, maybe the tree can help me throw the melons up to you the way the springy spoon threw <laughs> Mung and Og. Get away, fly! Whoa! Oh, I'm sorry. This is really genius, Crow. A big tree should grow really far. Load up a melon and try it. Right! Um, Crow? Crow? Uh, I'm slipping. Crow? I can't stop! Yes! <laughs> well, that's one way to stop, Steamer. Wait a minute. That is a way to stop. A way to stop the tree from springing back up while I load up a melon. Well, don't ask me to do it again. You don't have to. Crow can tie a big knot in the vine. The vine will slip right through, but the knot will get stuck and the tree will stay bent. Congratulations, Steamer. You've just invented the tree stopper. Bully for me. Big stick help all climb out of hole. <laughs> that reminds dog of Spoon Thingy. Spoon Thingy throw things real good. Go get rock. I'll have another idea. Ugg <laughs> very smart today. <laughs> Port on the side of hole. Like spoon on side of table. Put rock on end of board. Like mung on end of spoon. Now, Gog jump down on other end of board. Like elbow hitting spoon. Gog no want to be elbow. Gog want to go to bed with no din din tonight? When Gog jump on board, rock gonna fly real far. All the way to cave. <laughs> jump! Jump! Okay, guys, let's 
see this not in the vine tree stopper in action. It worked! Yes! Okay, Packer, here comes a melon. It went too far. Don't bend the tree down so much. You got it, Packer. Here it comes. Oh, too short that time. Try somewhere in the middle. This time for sure. Know their way to make spoon thingy work. Maybe bigger hole. What are you trying to do with big lever? Huh? Why then they call it lever? That what it is. Ugg need much longer lever if want to throw far. How Nandy know that? Nandy know. What Gog and Bob doing? Carrying rocks to cave. Think it much faster than trying yeah. to throw. Well, Nandy not know everything. Nandy not know I'm gonna send Bob to get longer stick. Wrong! To get longer lever. Bob! Get longer lever! Uh, Bob say where he gonna find long stick with flat surface and correct dimensions to serve same purpose as spoon on the edge of table. Bob say all that? Oh no care where you find stick! Go way to other side if have to! <laughs> Go, go, go! Nandy's gonna love all these melons. Yeah, and don't forget, Steamer is the one who found the melon patch. Yeah, I guess you're okay after all, Steamer. Steamer? Oh, great! Now where did he go? Um, let's go back and find him. Okay, but let's drop these melons off at the end of the bridge first. What's happening? I don't know. while Steamer was stranded on the ominous other side. As was Bob. Great, Phil. But I think this catapult we made needs adjustment. I still can't make a basket. Watch. Well, if you took the time to aim, you'd be much more likely to succeed. I can't. I've got to let it go right away, or it won't go as far. Oh, not true, Mikey. You see, when you pull this back, you store energy in it, which stays there until you release it. The important thing is to pull it back just the right amount, aim it carefully, and... 
Let me try. You hear something, Phil? Oh, dear. Not only do I hear something, I see and I smell something, too. Oh, my gosh. The experiment. Well, it appears now you have a problem equal to or greater than that of our poor friends Pekka and Crow. For him. We're not strong enough to throw a rope that far. We may not be strong enough, but we're smart enough. Folks, hey! Bob need be rescued. Good idea. How we gonna do? First, we throw Gog to other side. I can't throw Gog way over there. Sure I can. Just need big lever thingy and really big hole. On other side instead of Bob. Bob get all the breaks. <laughs> this lever thingy gonna work real good, Gog. Watch. Bonza! That not work very good. So Og make little mistake. Good thing Nandy make us use practice, Gog. We try again. If we can throw a melon using the tree, then we can throw a rock with a rope tied around it, too. Makes sense. Of course, first we have to bend this tree. So let's do it! This is hard. That's what makes it so perfect. You see, the more energy it takes to bend the tree, the more energy the tree stores in the farther it throws. Uh, Paka, help! My hands are slipping. I need to get a better grip, but if I let go... Crow, don't! Whoa! Crow, don't do that! I'm sorry, Paka. You know, I think we should go ask Phil or somebody for some help. No, we can do this. We just need something to keep the tree from springing back up between poles. Yeah, like our big knot in the vine keeps it from springing up until we release it. That's, That's it. it! If one knot works as one stopper... And lots of knots will work as lots of stoppers to keep the tree bent between each pole. Oh, Crow! We'll rescue Steamer yet! He's gonna be so happy to see you, Packa. Boy, that Packa, she's gonna be in such big trouble when I get home. I can't believe I'm stuck here with no one to play with, nothing to do. Hey! Who's in there? Okay, Packa. Pull! One, two, three. Whoa! One, two, three. Whoa! One, two, three. Whoa! One, two, three. Whoa! We did it, Crow! This one is gonna work. I just know it. Okay, Packa. Let it go. To do. We need help, Packa. You're right, Crow. Poor Steamer. Over there all alone, he must be terrified. No, no! Get back! Get away! Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you sure are fun. Not work too good. 
Excuse me, Mandy. I hate to interrupt when you all are having such a good time, but have you seen Pack and Steamer around here? No. Oh, dear. I haven't seen them since the earthquake, and I'm just worried sick about them. Maybe they on other side with Bob. Oh, goodness, I hope not. Still not work. Never gonna work. I'm not smart enough to make it work. Hog smart? Hog very smart. Hog smart is Neanderthal on Earth. Huh. See our lever thingy? It's for throwing things. We're gonna use it to rescue Bob from other side. Well, it's quite clever. Quite clever indeed. You know, something like this just might work. Of course, it could use a few tiny little adjustments. There. Much better. And much bigger, too. You need one this size to throw a large object way over to the other side, you know. Now, the difficult part is going to be lifting this heavy counterweight. Oh, well, come on, people. Let's give it a try. I don't know what to tell the others, Crow. I was supposed to watch Steamer and... What? You hear something? <gasps> Let's try it again, people. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh -oh. Now Gog have it. <laughs> Enough of this itching, people. Don't y'all ever bathe? Optics should jump on leather. That way it doesn't matter if we itch. <laughs> This boulder will work much better than jumping, Og. That is, if we can ever raise it into position. Now, if everyone's itches are scratched, let's try again. One, two, three. Uh-oh. Uh Nandy gonna sneeze. <laughs> <sighs> I'm afraid this just isn't going to work unless we can find a way to between poles without dropping the rock. I know a way, Ivana, a great way, and I invented it all by myself. <clears throat> uh, with Packer's help, of course. One, two, three. <clears throat> One, two, three. <clears throat> One, two, three. <clears throat> One, Imagine! Two, three. The ideas you One, humans two, employed to create three. your simple <clears throat> lever thingy were the inspiration for this wonderful catapult. One, two, when that three, big counterweight drops, the one, lever will two, flip up three, faster than you can say advanced technology. One, two, and you should be three. able to throw just about anything you want, Nandy. What is it that you want to throw anyway? I want to throw Gog over the other side. No! No! Stop! Stop! Crow told me to do it. Oh, I see. You're loading up the rock to be thrown. Oh, I thought it was you they were going to throw. No way! God, not as dumb as he looked. Well, thank goodness for that. Okay, everybody, here goes. I hope Bob all right. He just Bob. I could live here forever. How about you, Al? Bob! Steamer! Thank goodness I found you. You know, Steamer, you almost make me wish I'd never found you. Ah, gee, Crow. I'm really glad you did. Come on, you two. Let's go home. After these lessons, we'll be right back. Thank you, Bio. First, the bus. Oh, yeah. It's new. The gnarly new flavor from Kool-Aid Soft Drinks. Pink Flamingo. Wow. With its pink 
incredible new taste. Man, you really gotta go for things from Mingo. Go, things from Mingo, go. You really gotta go for things from Mingo. Incredible. Earring magic Barbie. Wanna be styling for a date. Earring magic can make you look great. Earring magic Barbie. Shiny hearts, stars and suns. Sharing with Barbie is so much fun. Earrings for me. Cool. Earring magic Barbie. Mix and match and looking hot. Barbie doll comes with clip-on earrings and mix-and-match charms you can wear. Dolls sold separately. Back to the show. So you see, by using parts of the lever thingy, along with Crow's ratchet system and a bigger counterweight, Ivana was able to pull it all together into... A lean, mean throwing machine. And speaking of throwing, Mike, let's play ball. Okay. Remember our deal? I make the longest basket and clean up the lab together. But if I shoot the furthest, you clean up the whole disgusting mess by yourself. Right. I think you may find Mikey has a little trick up his sleeve, Dr. C. Okay, Dr. C, your turn. Dr. C? Over here, Mike. Almost ready. Oh, man. Look at this thing. Don't you just love the brilliant simplicity of a good ratchet? <laughs> and with that winch, even a small person like Dr. C can store great amounts of energy to release whenever she chooses. Whose side are you on, Phil? I always go with the winner, Mikey. Good job, Doctor. So I guess you better get busy cleaning up the lab. But first, how about a quick game of one-on-one? -on -one? Tomorrow, there are kitties on the cactus on an all-new America's Funniest Home Videos. Then, the littlest Jericho family member brings home a bad word. Don't miss an all-new On Our Own. Stay tuned for all new adventures as Sonic and the Freedom Fighters continue their battle against the evil Robotnik. That's next on Sonic the Hedgehog. This is ABC. They're super small, super excellent, super tough, and super cool micro machines. So many, so cool, so real, so small, so wow. So micro machines! And where do micro machines go for fun? Highways and byways. Micro machines work hard at dumping dirt and working the crane at Ace Construction and cruising through the highways and byways toll plaza. Kick back at the off road campsite. Highways and byways, cool places for micro machines. Yeah. Micro machines, vehicle packs, and highways and byways playsets each sold separately. You put them together. Micro mice from Mars. Micro mice from Mars. Micro mice from Mars. Sold separately. Maniac not included. 
I'm Sir Chomps a lot. I've lost control for these little raviolis in this great big bowl. Do the chomp! It's a ravioli run. Do the chomp! In your feet got to stomp. Do the chomp! Do the chomp! Do the chomp! Chef Boyardee Sir Chomps a lot. Bite sized raviolis and now. New bite sized lasagna and bite sized O rings with meatballs. I'm jumping for joy. Thank goodness for Sir Boyardee. Hey, hey, Throttle, watch me blow past that snort from Saturn. <laughs> yep, that's me. I'm the baddest motorcycle mama jamma in the universe. <laughs> Modest, too. This is living. Nothing to do but rocking and rolling and racing through the cosmos. We got absolutely no problem. Sir, target identified as a cyclodrome thunderpipe, used only by the cave mouse population from the planet Mars. Impossible. Weren't all Martian mice destroyed during the Protarchian occupation of Mars? I wonder. Gonna blow that ship to the seven scattered galaxies. Now! Somebody out there doesn't like us. Yeah, those well, somebodies look a lot like Plutarchians. I can almost smell them from here. Looks like we've crossed with one of their destroyers. Vape them. What do you say we fry the fins off those stink faces? Do it. One fish face barbecue coming up! Vincent, it works better if you shoot before the weapon flies out the door. Yeah, well, um, timing's everything. So what are we gonna do? Well, that's easy. <laughs> We're going down! to eject. Guys, let me tell you something. In this wild and woolly universe of ours, there's only three things you can count on. Your brains, your bros, and your bike. Helmets on! It's time to rock and ride! takes the field. Holy Toledo! What place is that? Hey, nice reception. Who told them we were coming? Rope it in, Vinny. We didn't mean to cause any trouble, citizens. <laughs> okay, boys. Kick it! Your money, Jack. Now. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. You didn't really plan on hurting anyone with this thing, did you? No, sir. Good. Then if you don't mind. Bingo! Uh, I gotta go now. I think I hear my mom calling me. Nice trick, eh, citizen? Thanks, mister. Here, have a dog. Dog, eh? I've heard of these. I'll check it out. Ride free, citizen! <gasps> Pardon me. Uh, have you any gray poupon? You see any way off of here? The usual. Let's roll! Listen to this. 
busted gyro. No sweat, sweetheart. We find us a cycle parts shop, and I'll have it fixed pronto. I don't know. We've been on these streets for miles, and I haven't seen a repair pit yet. Keep looking, Moto. You know, there's something strangely familiar about this place. And it's not exactly a happy memory. I mean, check it out. Nothing but miles and deep craters and crumbling buildings. Yeah, but look at the bright side. What bright side? That bright side. I'll scope it out. Tell your slimy boss that I don't care how much money he has. The last chance garage is mine, and it's not for sale. You is not being wise, lady. Mr. Limburger wants this land. And what Lawrence Limburger wants, Lawrence Limburger gets! Listen, you overgrown grease monkey. You got ten seconds to vacate this place. I'm gonna vacate your face! <laughs> oh, I'm shaking, lady. You see me shaking? <laughs> uh, why don't you just lose off and... <laughs> what the heck? My lift needed a grease job anyway. Yous is starting to annoy me big time. <laughs> Maybe now you'll see Mr. Limburger's generous offer in a new light. Say there, citizen. Why don't you leave the lady alone? Huh? And who's gonna make me, wrench face? Who's gonna make me? <laughs> who's gonna make me is my middle name. I'm gonna make you. <laughs> oh, man! <clears throat> uh, what's the matter? Bitty baby biker hurt himself? <laughs> Get up and fight, you loser. What are you, a man or a mouse? Yo, mouse. You got a problem with that? This is one crummy place you got here. It's crawling with rats. Rat! My mama didn't raise no stinking rat. Understand? It's tail whipping time. Let's take this wrench hand down. Time to roll, sweetheart! Mr. Limburger ain't gonna like this! I give up. You okay, ma'am? Don't you come any closer, you! You! Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 don't break a nail. We just came in to get my bike fixed. Yeah, we're the good guys. Talk about no appreciation. I don't believe this. I've just been saved by a bunch of giant gerbils? Mice, ma'am. We're mice. Mice? You were expecting turtles, maybe? Mice. With antennas. And biker clothes. And motorcycles. Don't and... forget your basic studly bods. I've seen better. Maybe. But not with this much charm. Where on earth did you guys come from? Mars. Mars? Mars. Mars? Is there an echo in here? I don't think she likes our answers. Mars. Right. I don't believe this. I think you guys better explain yourselves. Okay, look, it's a long story. You see, our planet was invaded by a race of smelly stink faces called Plutarchians. Here, I'll show you. Now, the Plutarchians wanted our land, right? It seems they wasted all their own natural resources, so they go around strip mining the cosmos. So they blew up your planet? Nah, they bought up our planet, tore the place apart, and dug up the land to ship back to Plutarch. Right. Well, the mice population fought back, but most of us were wiped out. Moto here gave his arm to the cause. Vinny got half his face taken off. That's why he wears the mask. Yeah, but that's okay, because what's left is definitely grade A mouse material. In your dreams, pal. You know, the way you guys describe what these, uh, Plutarchians did to your planet, I think you ought to check something out. From the looks of things, I'd say they're here.
Today on McDonald's Field Trip Adventure, we'll explore nature with this kaleidoscope, trace stuff with this leaf printer, and make things huge with this magnifier. One toy with each Field Trip Happy Meal you buy. You caught a twig. Careful, don't make it mad. Cool things happen in the morning with the warm taste of Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. <laughs> For kids who think big. Now, in special alert boxes of high C, you get a color change straw. Great. They change to green, pink, or blue. You can collect all three. They're only here for a limited time. Then New York, Paris, Hamburg, Detroit. Well, maybe not Detroit. Those Motor City maniacs are a little too crazy for me. But one day... Uh, sorry, boss. Grease pit. Dear boy. Yes, boss? You're dripping on my carpet! <laughs> uh, sorry, boss. Just try and get good help these days. Now, as I recall, I sent you to purchase the last chance garage. Is this correct? Uh, yes, boss. And I believe you were then to demolish it? That's right, boss. Then why is it still there? It, it wasn't my fault, boss. Honest. You see, there were these big mice. Mice? On motorcycle. Yeah. Not again! I had a belly full of those revolting rodents on Mars! Carbuncle! Yes, your big chief, eh? Do you recall those mice who escaped your laboratory on Mars? The three leaders of that pathetic rebellion? Yes! Most frustrating. I had barely started experimenting on them when they got away. Hey, Doc, how about forearms? Then I could clap in stereo. Oh, shut up. Carbuncle, pay attention. Those biker rebels have now come to Earth, and I want to know what you are going to do about it. Well, your cheddar cheeviness. If you wish to catch a mouse, you must build a better mouse trap. Excellent. Now all we need is the bait. <laughs> <laughs> That ought to do it. Mm, not bad. You're a pretty good bike jockey. Best in Shy town By the way, your weapons look like they could use a little improvement, so I put in a few extras. Extras? Like what? Like that. Ooh, I like it, sweetheart. I like it. Thanks. I live for your approval. I better go out and get those back before they fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> hey, buddies, we're honing some chrome and rattling the roadways on WBKR. Sweet Georgie Brown banging heads with metal rock and roll from Guns and Noses. Ah, what'd I tell you guys? Is this guy, Sweet Georgie Brown, the baddest DJ in the universe or what? Sweet. 
Hey, what's taking Charlie Girl so long? Yo, biker bunnies. All those gopher teeth of yours out here. I got some bits for you. No, no, it's a trap. Let her go, oil breath. Yous touch me, and I pull this string. And your friend, she goes. Snap. All right, bros. Left flank roll. No, guys. Number three. Maybe we should think it over before you... Hit it! Gotcha, sweetheart. Have I got style or what? What you've got is bad breath. You been eating onions again, huh? The story of my life. No appreciation. Hey! Three against one ain't fair! Hey, you listen up, oil breath. You just take a message back to your boss for us. What message? You tell him the biker mice from Mars are in town, and the party's over. You got that? Uh, yeah, I think so. Good. Now it's time to go. Oh, no. Not again. Hey! Like they say back at Quigley Field, batter up! Here's the wind-up. And the pitch! Mr. Lindbergh is it gonna like this? Yes! Doodles. Can't anyone do anything around here? Must I have to do everything myself? <laughs> yes, your supreme cheesiness. Your mousetrap was less than a success. If you can't take care of those repulsive rodents, we're through on this planet. Well, if one has rats in the attic, oh, there's but one thing to do. <laughs> Hey, Charlie says this is where we'll find that Lawrence Limburger clown. No time to pop in for a little visit. Battle mode, bros. We're gonna rock the walls off this joint. Yo, party time! I want one of those. Uh. What's that? It's an attack! Activate defenses! You know, man, I don't think Limburger's exactly happy to see us. Uh-oh. Company. Spread. Anybody rip me of these bothersome vermin! <gasps> it's just so hard to find good help these days. I know, I know. <laughs> hey, I smell blue tarpy. Oh, uh, you could tell. I must have the air conditioning repaired at once. Huh? Yes, my boy. <laughs> How very nice of you to remember. Oh, I remember all right. I remember how you took my arm, but I got you another one. <laughs> very interesting invention. And speaking of inventions... <gasps> Hasta la vista, rodents. Well, well. It seems that it's time to say goodbye to our guests. I gotta tell you, it's been a treat, fellas, but it's time for us to rock and roll! Exterminate them! Kick it, bros!
you guys take Limburger's goon squad. I'll handle the big fella. And get me, Tin Man. End of the road, Broden. I'll be back. Yeah, well, don't forget to write. Mm -mm. It's gonna take a long time to mend that mangled mess of metal. Typical. Just great. Well, if you're stuck here on Earth, this place will make as good a hideout as any. What, here? In the scoreboard? Why not? Limburger and his grease goons would never think to look for you here. Well, she's got a well, well, now that we got the bachelor pad thing together, what do you say we grab a little chow? I know a great cheese shop downtown. Oh, get uh, a clue, Come on. Where do you think we are, anyway? Huh? Mice. I was thinking maybe a few root beers. A couple of dogs. Okay, group. Then let's... I got this one, sweetheart. Okay, you mamma jammas. Let's rock and ride! They come from far and wide. But who will rule as king of the jungle? They fight to rule. They fight to win. They fight to fight. Attack! Back. This guy's bark is just as bad as his bite. But if they don't play by Sliminator's rules, he'll give them all the slime of their lives. Attack! Unleash the beast. Attack Pack. You can collect them all, each sold separately, only from Hot Wheels. on your favorite fashion doll. Touch it, and Let's go to the mall. Put one on any toy. Let's party. Bye-bye. Yes. <laughs> Call me. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. Fancy Sounds by Sonics. Have you Fancy heard Sounds it? by Sonics with sound tabs that can make your toys say over 150 things, batteries not included. Thank <laughs> you. 
and go. Cutest baby I know. Tummy tickles are funny from all these giggly ones. He giggles. Go in here, go in there. Your walker goes everywhere. Your walker has two feet. You love to go for the fun. You love to bump and then run. When she bumps, she giggles. You're only learning to walk. I love you. But you can giggle and run. You can go for the fun. <laughs> Giggles and go. Baby Giggles and Go comes with a bright pink two-speed walker. Each doll sold separately. Batteries not included. Hershey's Fifth Avenue. It'll make you go. Happy cryptid to me. Oh, happy cryptid to me. Yeah. Hello, boils and ghouls. I'm glad you could make it to my cryptid party. <gasps> Just a cheery crypto wish to let you know we're trusting that each and every passing year will make you more disgusting. Ah, thanks, Mom. <laughs> I'm dying to open my presents, but I'll just have to wait until after our terror tale. It's about another birthday boy who had to wait eons for his well-preserved present. I call it the Caveman. telling me. Nice suit, Dad. Thanks. It's for the cold. The ice chamber must be kept at a sub-zero temperature. Why? To preserve the greatest prehistoric discovery of all time. Is that what I think it is? A perfectly preserved Neanderthal caveman. Or as Dr. Orwell prefers to put it, his one-way ticket to fame, fortune, and the history books. Awesome! Orwell wanted it kept a secret, even from you. Sorry, Dad. I just wanted to let you know what I want to do for my birthday. Peter, if Dr. Orwell catches you here... Harry! Orwell! Harry! I'm unveiling the caveman to the news media Monday. Monday? But... I want the entire display ready. But that only gives me two days. Don't mess with me, Perry. Do it or you're finished! He's dangerous. Forget him. What about your birthday? I was gonna say we could spend Sunday at the amusement park. Kinda like old times, but... Sounds great. You're on. But the display? It won't be easy, but it'll be done by Saturday. That's a promise. Perry? Is this a flora or a fauna? 
For the last time, fauna means animals, flora means plants. Yeah, yeah. Uh, flora? Yes, over there. It's finished! Dad, it's truly a modern-day miracle! Especially with the help Orwell hires. So, we're all set for tomorrow. You bet. Watch it with that tree! We're meeting with the board of directors first thing in the morning. Get your files together. Our plane leaves in two hours. I can't! Tomorrow's Sunday. It's Peter's birthday. I promised him! I'm not asking you, Perry. I'm... Fauna! Everyone is trying to undermine me! Everyone! You're fired! Laura? Get out! I know you need this job, Perry. But mess this up for me, and finding a new one will be the least of your worries. The car's waiting. I only hope my son understands. No! It's not fair. Why does Dad always pick his job over me? I hate Orwell for making him choose. And I hate you for starting all this. Specially marked packages of sprinklings is a creation station action pack that's 16 pages of fun. Who's little pet is that? The littlest pet shop. That's who. Shop playset comes with everything you see here. Pet peeps sold separately. Hey kids, wanna know something funny? I like it. We've just found Bugs Bunny. I ain't nobody rabbit. And we've got it right where we want it. Holy cats, I've been grabbed. Bugs Bunny and Greedo. Premiering today on ABC. One way to wind this up with a bang.
You clean me out. I guess being a cave sickle for a couple hundred thousand years must really build up an appetite. Boy, Dad's not gonna believe you. Gee, Dad. Dad. <laughs> yeah, Dad. He won't be back until tonight. What am I gonna do with you until then? Why not? You've got the whole day, so... First, I'll get you something to eat, then I'll show you what you've been missing all these years. Can you say, Happy Birthday? Happy Birthday! This is gonna be awesome. All right, the early birds beat the crowds. Ticket, please. Thank you. Step right up, folks. Try our new tofu dogs. Free samples. <laughs> you bet. Go ahead. Help yourself. Huh? I think he likes them. <laughs> Please clean me out. You said they were free. <laughs> Whoa! The yeah! Oh! 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 Okay, this is the way it works. Bodacious burps are okay with the guys, but adults don't like it when you. Oof. Sorry. You made me drop it. No, I didn't. You just. So you're gonna eat it? Look, I'll buy you another one. Just. I said, eat. It. Yeah? Yeah? So what's your problem? <laughs> Why you? You can't toss people around like that. <laughs> no, it's got nothing to do with your style. for hours. <sighs> hey, hey, what? Hey, hey buddy. Uh, so, is this a good ride or what? We'll let you know. them except this who should we give this one to pal I guess you're sort of missing your family I mean they're all gone and now you're kind of all by yourself yeah you and me both I mean I've got dad but 
I think he really does care more about his job than he does about me. <laughs> nah, it's okay. You keep it. Again? Afraid not, pal. It's getting late. We better be heading back. <laughs> huh? Where'd you go? Again! Again! Hang on, I'm coming! <laughs> hey! What? Hey, what's going on? Where are you going? Oh no! Dino Land! Tom and Harriet Banks are the lucky winners. A lion punch. Nothing else has the punch. Uh, what's your building, Ronald? It's a magic time machine. How does it work? Stand back. I'll show you. Whoa. It's about four o'clock. Cool, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Look, this way to McDonald's. Last one day buys lunch. Now, in a McDonald's Happy Meal, you can crack up with Looney Tunes because they're driving crazy cars. Just bump the bumper and watch them go wacky. You get one toy with each Happy Meal you buy. Only at McDonald's. <laughs> Hold it! Where's your ticket, Junior? You don't understand. I gotta get through. This is an emergency. Washrooms are the other way. Let me through. Ain't this Dino Land great? Oh. Whoa! It's okay, it's only a costume! It's not a real T-Rex, it's... <laughs> it's only cardboard. Cardboard? <laughs> yeah, cardboard. Awesome! There he is! Uh-oh, we gotta get you out of here. Come on! After them! Whoa! There they go! Get him. Not this time, pal. Come on!
characters in crazy little cars and when you bump the bumper they spin squish pop up and crack up now at mcdonald's one toy with every happy meal you buy hey you can eat don't hug the view putting you in a zoo or something. I wish it were up to me. You'd better stay here till I can explain. Stay! Listen, Orwell, I don't know what you're talking about. You've been plotting against me from the start, haven't you, Barry? Don't be ridiculous. I've hardly had five minutes with my son since I started this job. Go get him, Dad. But that's finished. Understand? As of now, Peter comes first. In other words, Dr. Orwell, I quit! Yes! Of course, because all you ever wanted was to rob me. Rob me of my fame! Dr. Orwell, please! My fortune! My immortality! I'll show you what happens to those who get in my way! No! Peter, no! Oh. He didn't do anything, it was me! I turned up the temperature, I was angry! But I came back to fix it, only the cave... Man... Come on, Dad. Come on. I'll be okay. Thanks, Peter. Well, my men checked everywhere. No sign of this Orwell fella. I've never seen him like this before. I've got an APB out for him. We'll find him, but if you hear anything... Don't worry, Sergeant. We'll call. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I sure wouldn't want to bump into this guy on a dark night. Well, Dr. Perry, I suggest you go home and get some rest. I will, Sergeant. Thanks. Ready, Peter? Yeah, sure, Dad. Well, at least this way you're safe from Orwell. Goodbye, pal. Thanks. Sorry I missed your birthday. How can I make it up to you? You already have. Over there. Thanks. Hey, Dad. Any sign of the old boss? Nope. And I'm not looking. Great. I mean, how's the new boss doing? Well, the board of directors are pleased that I took a few extra weeks to really make this display something. Yeah, real awesome, Dad. And what a difference a competent workman makes. Good, huh? He's great. Strong, never gets tired, never says a word, and best of all, he has a real feel for this display. Great. We still on for tonight? Amusement park? Nah, uh, I thought maybe a ball game. Whatever you say. We've got the whole weekend. Just give me a minute. I guess this is the only way. I mean, you're a caveman. What could you have done here in the real world? You know, there's something that just doesn't look right.
Christmas here. Mmm, cool. Now you can be part of Ariel's cool team scene. Cool team Ariel. Shelly, Pearl, other dolls will swim one sold separately. Ariel, Disney's The Little Mermaid. Pizza pizza. pizza, 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 certainly got what he wanted for his birthday. But as for Orwell, you might say he's out in the cold. <laughs> Perhaps after he's done cooling his heels, he won't be such a drip anymore. Now that really takes the cake. <laughs> Tastes more chocolatey. And watch me get some. A magic lamp. Teeny. The Turbidoo's here to grant your wishes. But first I need something extra chocolatey delicious. Try my new more chocolatey cocoa pebbles. Looks more chocolatey. Mmm, tastes more chocolatey. Uh-oh. Bonnie, my pebbles. <laughs> You're a genius. Post Cocoa Pebbles cereal, part of this complete breakfast. They're super small, super excellent, super tough, and super cool micro machines. So many, so, so cool, so real, so, so small, so wow, so micro machines. And where do micro machines go for fun? Highways and byways. Micro machines work hard at dumping dirt and working the crane at Ace Construction and cruising through the highways and byways toll plaza. Kick back at the off road campsite. Highways and byways, cool places for micro machines. Yeah. Micro machines, vehicle packs, and highways and byways playsets each sold separately. You put them together. Plenty of time to trade. As long as we're not there all night, we've got a big day tomorrow. I know. I just can't believe we're going to trade for ancient artifacts. In my city, that would never be allowed. Don't get your hopes up. Council gets first look at everything the moles dig up. They're only allowed to trade what council doesn't want. is this? We believe the ancients used it to attract game. Hey, Ferris, got any machinery or car parts? Mm, not this week, but I know someone who might. Follow me. Huh? Now this is more like it. Blueprints, ancient surveys. What's this? Cybercore Research Laboratory, official termination order, classified, top secret clearance only. Hey! That's not for trade! What the? What? <laughs> All moles on the second shift report to the docks. Uh, I'm on the first shift! Where'd she go? Ooh. Hey! What's 
a hurry. Uh, I, I, I was just on my way home. It's been a busy day. I, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> What's she up to now? Special friends began a relationship that's entertained audiences for 50 years. Now, Tom and Jerry are back in their first major motion picture. Hello, all you happy people. Featuring six original songs from composer Henry Mancini. Like a star, a the critics are calling it delightful fun for the whole family. It's Tom and Jerry, the movie rated G. Starts Friday, July 30th. High above the jungle, swinging from trees. I am Coco with my Coco Krispies. If I'm not careful, I end up in a bind. It's some big ace, I take what's mine. But I'm too clever, I'm much too quick. I can make anyone fall for my tricks. So oh, yeah. Kellogg's Coco Krispies are such a chocolatey and delicious part of this complete breakfast. Even the milk turns chocolate with every bite. So chocolate tea. Oh, everybody wants my Coco Krispies. We need to talk. You? How 
did you find this place? I followed you from the market. Why? To return the document you stole? Not stole, borrowed. Not so fast. That belongs to Governor Scharnhorst. You'd better give it back before she finds out you've seen it. And I can see why she wouldn't like that. This document is about a laboratory of the ancients. Shh. Keep your voice down. We could be arrested for this. Something went wrong there, and the ancients had to seal the lab. Oh, I, I don't know anything about it. And if you know what's good for you, you'll forget all about this. Ferris! This document was stored in the vault as a warning for future generations. Us! The only way I could be holding it is if someone has found the lab. You got a problem with that? Talk to Governor Scharnhorst. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for work. So that's why the river's dried up. It's been damned. Quahoon! The river's been damned so they can dig. But why? so long. At this rate, the lab won't be fully excavated for weeks. We're digging as quickly as we can, Governor Scharnhorst, uh, but, but the ground is unstable. We must build supports. I'm not interested in excuses. I want results. Tell your moles to dig faster. Uh, yes, Governor Scharnhorst. Uh, Dr. Fezenden, I brought the ancient plans you asked for. Fool! Do that inside. The lab. They have found it. And now <gasps> we've found you. Excuse me. Huh? Just dropping in. like the document said. Just get on with it. The RXB-14, Cybercore's prototype tunneling robot, designed to withstand earth tremors and toxic fumes. Ah! Found it! The RXB-14 control unit. All I have to do is determine the startup codes. A mechanical mole that belongs to me. No more complaints about safety, food, or long hours. Able to dig wherever I want, whenever I tell it to. Governor Scharnhorst? What? Can't you see I'm busy? Ambassador Dundee. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. This excavation is off limits. Why? As ambassador, I have full access to city excavations. Unless there's something you wish to keep secret here? Of course not. As part of our agreement, I would be bound to share such information. 
Then I take it you have found no ancient technology? Or machines? There are no machines here. This was a meeting place for the ancients. Come off it, Sharnhorst. This lab was sealed by the ancients because something went wrong. It was not supposed to be reopened. This conversation is getting tedious. Guards, escort Ambassador Dundee back to her quarters in the city. Where are you taking her? Back to the city. Governor Sharnhorst orders. I'll take her for you. Ah! Wah! Ah! Jack? That's right. Tell everyone. But what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Forget about that. We have to get back to the lab. Sharnhorst is playing with dangerous ancient technology. I might have known. Come on. Hey, let go of me. Uh-uh, you're my prisoner, remember? after these robots were created to dig dig but Sharnhorst has got the moles why does she need robots maybe to replace the moles no machines could never replace the moles Sharnhorst needs us One of the robots. Looks like it's executing some sort of program. Wahoo! It's activating the others. Time to head on home! Set that to his son! As soon as my fruit by the foot is done! So he started to eat and don't you know, hours later! Still not ready to go! See, with fruit by the foot, the fun just lasts and lasts! So he kept eating, and, and the, the time, time just passed! Until one day when it began to snow, he looked around and said, Okay, now we can go! Fruit by the foot, long or fun! Can't get enough of that golden crisp. Oh, sugar bears after my golden crisp cereal. Time for a granny good witch time switch. He will never find me in Quilch of China. Gotta have it, oh honorable granny. Sugar bear, never! Great wall, but nothing comes between my tummy and the honey sweet crunch of golden crisp. Borrow your chopsticks. It's part of a complete breakfast. It began with a nut and a bolt. 
that shook his top hat with a jolt. Peepy crisp an idea for a munch, but with graham cookie outside for crunch. Inside a center so sweet, peanut butter cream, oh, a treat. A taste so enormously grand, made to fit in the palm of your hand. Peepy crisp, peepy crisp, peepy crisp. Peanut butter cream is the name of the green. Peepy crisp, peepy crisp, peepy crisp. The sweet taste that is destined for fame. New peepy crisps from planters. It's peanut butter with a crunch. Look out! Ah! That robot tried to attack us! Make that robots! They must be malfunctioning! They're out of control! This is why the ancients sealed the lab! or the lab will collapse! How am I supposed to do that? Ask them one at a time? Jack, if we destroy the first robot, it might deactivate the others. What do you mean, we? Betrayed the moles. She had us uncover the lab so she could replace us with robots. But I'm not going to let her do that. Unfortunately, Ferris, you don't have a say in the matter. Ah! Let him go. We'll deal with the moles later. It's the robots you should be worried about. The ancients were right. This lab must be resealed. Why? I see no reason to close it down. I see a couple of hundred. What's going on? The robots have reactivated themselves. Destroy them, Scharnhorst! No! There must be another way. We could try to shut them down using their control boxes. You heard him do it! Look out! <clears throat> Any more dumb ideas? <gasps> Run! This won't hold them for long! Governor Sharnhorst. <gasps> no! Don't do it! Now! <gasps> what are you waiting for? Run! How dare you! You've destroyed my lab! We had to protect ourselves. You were going to replace us with robots. And I still plan to. The 
dig. All of you, dig. You may have destroyed the robots, but the technology that created them still exists. We'll see about that. Henrik, where are you going? Henrik, I'm talking to you. Get back here. The jam! Stop him! Stop him, you fools! Taking care of the robots, my way. Everyone, clear the area! The dam's coming down! <gasps> it's showtime! Scharnhorst had her way. She wants technology at any cost. Like the moles and, and changing their way of life forever. Or damming up the Slither's water. <laughs> Sophisticated technology can be a dangerous thing in the wrong hands. It's history repeating itself. When these kitten meals are? Just for kids. Not for dogs. Or Sergeant Eye Clops. When these kids meals are? Just for kids. Not a fish named Mary. Or the big and hairy. When these kids meals are? Just for kids. And so it was inside. These are weird, but you can make them even weirder. They're weird writers. One in every Wendy's kids meal. You can collect all five. These are weird. I told the witch doctor I was in love with you. From their first hit, Witch Doctor, to their newest smash, Achy Breaky Heart, Alvin and the Chipmunks have been delighting fans all over the world. Now, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore have gathered their greatest hits on one big album, the Chipmunks' 35th birthday party, including Beat It. Uptown Girl.
And because Alvin looks great in trunks, Surfing USA. Surfing USA. Alvin! To order the Chipmunks' 35th birthday party, call the number on your screen or send check or money order. CD $18.99, double play cassette $14.99. Order now. Traded of his Cocoa Pebbles. Roar! Cocosaurus Rex! Meaning something super chocolatey. Try my Cocoa Pebbles, please? Mmm, gigantic chocolatey taste. Later, pal, got a spring. Barney, my Cocoa Pebbles! <laughs> Time to be extinct. How's Cocoa Pebbles cereal? Part of this complete breakfast. Yeah. Very hip. Hot. Very hot. Rare. Very rare. New. Very new. 1993 Playoff Collector's Edition football cards. Anything else is just collecting dust. Dragon, you gotta be strong, humble, never bragging. Always fight for right, battling wrong with the power of the dragon. Live the code, the code of the dragon. Fight for right, the might of the dragon. With the mark, the mark of the dragon. Live the code, the code of the dragon. Never intentionally harm another. Do not battle if you can avoid it. You, Billy Lee, a Dragon Master now. Dragon Master was born with a mark of the double dragon. Littlest pet shop, that's who. Aww. Aww. Who has speedy birdies who flap their wings and gerbils who do tricks for you? Itty bitty kitties doing kitty things and playful puppies who play with too. The littlest pet shop, that's who. And I love Littlest Pet Shop play set. Ooh, it's the perfect place for all your pets. Now I've got the whole pet shop. Littlest Pet Shop play set comes with everything you see here. Pets each sold separately. a fun-filled adventure. When you open a book, you open your mind. Go places only your imagination can find. You can read a book here or there and imagine yourself almost anywhere, like under the sea or back in time. Each book has a story of its own to find. Are you ready for some fun? Read a book and let your imagination come alive. <sighs> You'll be safe here, little one. Oldest dragon, the Shadow Warriors have taken my son's twin brother. Please protect him while I find my other son. He belongs here. He was born with the mark of the double dragon. His name is Billy, Billy Lee. He shall be protected. Thank you, oldest dragon. Go now. Search for your other son. You shall be a great dragon, Billy Lee. 
You shall live by the code of the dragon. You shall be a champion of the good, a protector of the weak and innocent. You shall become a dragon master. Too much, Bobo. This job will go fine. Ain't no one gonna stop us. <laughs> ago, I said you would be Dragon Master. You have fulfilled that destiny, Billy. And just in time, for I will be leaving you soon. Oldest Dragon, this is not possible. You have many years yet. No, my son. As the leaf falls from the tree, so must I go. Oldest Dragon! Billy! It's the Shadow Warriors! Come on! You have to stop them! Michael, remember the code of the dragon. The only sure way to win a fight is to avoid it. It's gonna be Slaughter City out there, man! The shadow carpenter's moving in over the park! Billy, this time the boy is right. Sometimes a dragon must fight the battle in order to stop the war. The shadow of evil is falling over our city. It is more powerful now than ever before. I cannot stop it, but you can. Never forget the code of the dragon. Do not battle if you can avoid it. If you must fight, do not injure. Never intentionally harm another. Yeah! Press the sword to your forehead. Feel its power. Wow! Ahead lies your greatest test. The power of the shadow. Remember, good and evil are as close as the other side of the mirror. As you command, oldest dragon, I will fight for right. You, Billy Lee, are Dragon Master now! for reinforcements. I'm Billy Lee, 
Patrol person Marion Martin, newest member of the Metro Task Force. Pleased to meet ya. Huh? Hey, oh no! This one fights like a dragon master. What do we do? Way to down, partner! Blow something up! <laughs> Watch out, Marion! I'm impressed. You've got a future as a sushi chef. Random cowboy! They're getting away! It's only money. The main thing is no one got hurt. But they're breaking the law. Why didn't you try to stop them? I may only use my power to protect innocent lives from harm. It is the code of the dragon. <laughs> So, he's a Dragon Master. That explains everything. He's gone! I'm sorry, Billy. Oldest Dragon, why did you leave me now? You've given me amazing powers, but I'm lost without you. What will I do next? Well, you can always help me stop the Shadow Warriors. I've been authorized to make you a temporary deputy. Me? Remember, I must honor the code of the Dragon. Don't worry. We've got a code every bit as strict. It's called the law. You could make a big difference, Billy. Go for it, Officer Billy! Okay, you're on. The Shadow Boss is going to blame us for that woman cop joining forces with the new Dragon Master. Don't oh, you worry too much, little buddy. You're late. I am not pleased with your performance, gentlemen. We had a little problem. A little problem? You disgrace the shadow. No! But boss, we got the loot! And you lost five shadow warriors. I will not tolerate disgrace. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, Shadow Shadow Boss. Boss. <laughs> Don't fail me again. Now get up. I have a new job for you. What a brainstorm. <laughs> We're going to go down in history as the first hombres to hit the U.S. Mint. A Bobo, this is so good, I'm going to tape it. Maybe I'll even send it to America's most criminal home videos. <laughs> Just keep me off camera, idiot. It's an ambush! They got Shadow 2 and 3! Hit the trail of Bobo! We are off the air! Boss, we... What went wrong? See for yourself! That's the policewoman. And here... What? Stop the tape! Freeze it! That's the new Dragon Master? Unbelievable. Now I understand. Listen to me. This is what we must do. Oh, hopefully this will not be needed again soon. Well, you've done a good job, but it's not over yet. The Shadow Boss could strike at any time. I'll be ready when he does. In the meantime, there are street kids who need me here. My training program must go on. Huh? What? Who are you? How can this be? So it is true. I need your help. I, I will explain later. Please let me in. <laughs> By the dragon. The dojo is under attack. After the So grown up. Oh, he's eating so sensibly. Well, he knows just how cool this stuff is. Just check out all that whole grain wheat. Whole grain wheat, yeah, very nutritious. He's definitely. It's a... in his frosting. It jams. It's what every child genius should eat. 
Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats taste so good, who cares about hey. anything else? Besides, it's part of this complete breakfast. He's probably downstairs right now writing his dissertation on world peace. Oh, there you go. Oh, God! Yeah. If I were big, who would stop me? Not even the biggest bully. And I could do cannonballs into a swimming pool of high sea. Because when you're this big, you get really thirsty. I see. Big fruit taste for kids who think big. Now, on Special Mark Box of the High Sea, you get a color change straw. Great. They change to green, pink, or blue. You can collect all three. They're only here for a limited time. If it's creepy, cool. if it's kooky, mysterious, <laughs> and spooky, I have something that will really make your hair stand on end. It's the first family of fright, the Adams Family, premiering today. Take care of itself. It's all automatic from here on out. Our shield are weakening. We must retreat. It's over. They're gone. Oh, is there anything I can do? Yeah, tell me your life story. I never knew I had a twin brother. And then, after the Shadow Warriors took me from our father, they held me captive. That's terrible! It must have been awful. Yeah, but as soon as I was old enough, I escaped. They've been on my trail ever since. And now I've led this violence to your door. We'll handle it together. Come on! Let's clean this place up. You're on! Hey, what do you say we open up a martial arts school? Yeah! You could call it the Double Dragon Dojo! Sure! We could enter a tournament to let people know how good we are and, and remind everybody what a great sport this is! I, I, I don't know. Billy, you've got a nasty bruise there. Wow, must have happened during the attack. Look! Amazing! Now that we're back together again, when one of us is hurt, both of us bruise! And now, Mick Mulgrew of the Tigers versus Billy Lee of the Dragons! Okay, bro, you're on. Can't we just talk about this? <laughs> Good luck! Yeah, may the luck of the Dragons be with you. Thanks. <sighs> this uh, isn't supposed to be full contact! This is a friendly contest! What's the matter, Dragon Master? Scared? So be it. Hey -ya! Mary and Martin here. Martin, this is dispatch. Report to the precinct immediately. We have an emergency. 10-4. I'll be right there. What is it? I don't want to miss Billy's bout, but they need me at the precinct. I'll walk you to the car. Reach for the sky, varmints! Lest you all want to be perforated by this here shadow blaster! <laughs> Martin, this is dispatch. So glad you could make it. the two people I love most. I failed to protect them. It's all my fault. I didn't even see them leave. No, Michael. They left willingly. Why and where they are now are the real mysteries. Guard the dojo. I must meditate. I
I call upon the power of the double dragon. Lead me to my brother. What you see is what you get, Dragon Master. Feel the power of the shadow! <laughs> Feel the power of the dragon! <laughs> we shall meet again inside my lair, Dragon Master. Solid as rock. There's got to be a way. What did the Shadow Boss say? What you see is what you get. Well, maybe if I don't see anything. Welcome to the Shadow Dojo. Where are Marion and my brother? In the shadows where they belong. You don't give up, do you? Happens. Wow, Billy! Wild Willie blew himself up! Make your opponent defeat himself. That's the code of the dragon. Come on, we've got to find Jimmy! Shadow Boss! What have you done with my brother? At last we meet in person, Dragon Master! Where is he? Take me to him! Why? He's safer than you think! Safer than you, Dragon Master! Where there's light, shadows cannot fall. Where there is shadow, dragons cannot go. I will smash you like a fly! Where are you, Shadow Fiend? I am everywhere. Here, Billy! Now, where's my brother? Close, Billy. Very close. No. Oh, no! Yes, Billy. I am the Shadow Boss. Why, Jimmy? Why? It is my destiny. Just as the way of the dragon is yours, so the path of the shadow is mine. Come with us. We'll work it out. Hey, we're like two sides of a mirror, eh, bro? Thanks to your silly code of the dragon, you can never destroy me. By the same token, you can never destroy me without destroying yourself. So, we'll go down life's road together. Good and evil, yin and yang. As long as the black flame burns. <laughs> Then let it be extinguished. I don't know what you 
keep on leash, Billy, but I don't think we should stick around to find out. Come on! So this is what the spirit of the oldest dragon meant when he talked about the ultimate challenge. Is it over? No. The Shadow Boss lives, but the code of the dragon will prevail. We're going to win, Marion. It must be so. We shall see. <laughs> After the messaging, we'll be right back. It's amazing fruit, yeah! It's amazing fruit, and it's, it's all amazing, amazing fruit. fruit. Presenting the one and only fruit bearing gummy bears. It's amazing. Made with the goodness of real fruit juice, they're called amazing fruit. Amazing fruit is so fruity, you can hardly bear it. <laughs> Tropical flavors, too. When you feel grumpy, frumpy, down and dumpy, icky, creepy, crabby, weepy, yucky, mad, or just plain sad, then you need Chuck E. Cheese. Then you feel happy, giggly, glad and wiggly, wacky, bumptious, silly, scrumptious, funny, giddy, zany, witty, sassy, crazy, upsy, daisy, Pizza, pizza. Oh, pizza, pizza, for pizza, banana, banana, for pizza, me, my, mo, me, stop. Pizza. Break it down, yeah. Nothing can beat them, so come on, let's eat them. Wow. Baby Caesars. Now at Little Caesars, you can get a free toy and a chance to win. I won! The world of Nerf, a truckload of Nerf toys. All rules and game pieces are at participating stores. Nerf. All right, for mail-in game pieces while supplies last. No purchase necessary. Disney's Aladdin, filled with danger, adventure, and magical things. It's all in the new Aladdin handheld game. You can guide Aladdin through the marketplace and into the Cave of Wonders, where he can call on the genie and the magic carpet for help. If you can help Aladdin defeat Jafar and free Jasmine, you win. Disney's Aladdin, batteries not included, new from Tiger. Cool things happen in the morning with the warm taste of Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. So cool they're hot. So hot they're cool. Oh. Oh. What? So cool. Yeah! Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. Mmm. You're kidding. A complete breakfast? Uh-oh. So cool they're hot, hot, hot. It's guess who? Oh, the mystery face game. Did you press in the ball? Yes. A very good question. Did you wear glasses? Yep. Uh-oh. That means it's not you. Hold on. Or you. To the You're Tom. Fun is trying to guess when you play guess who. Game cards do not actually talk. Look at all the crystal princesses. Oh, there's Princess Crystal Hearts. They're all so special. I love the crystal princesses. They glitter like the sun. I'd love to take them. Princesses are so beautiful. I'd like to collect them all. It's a crystal princess world. Crystal princess dolls and crystal carriage each sold separately.
Yeah, it was midnight in Dark City. Nice night for a stroll by the wharf. Unfortunately, thanks to my arch nemesis, Baron von Rottweiler, this dog was about to go walkies in concrete overshoes. Well, Herr Hart, it seems at last you have come to the end of your leash. Yeah, and it's a little tight. We must do something about that. Leon! <laughs> Look on the bright side. You were due for a flea bath, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, are you home? Uh, be right there, Colleen. Come on, Elliot. Don't leave me hanging. Hi, Colleen. Elliot, uh, this is my nephew, Pomeroy. He's visiting me. Uh, hello, Pomeroy. Oh. <laughs> He's kind of uh, cute. Oh, I'm glad you like puppies. <laughs> like puppies? I used to be one. <laughs> right. Well, Will you uh, take care of Pomeroy what? for a couple oh, of hours? Uh, 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 a couple of hours? Sorry for such short notice. I was just feeding him lunch when something came up. There's an emergency at work, so would you please puppy sit Pomeroy? But... Uh, for me. For you? Well... Uh, what's a couple of hours? <laughs> oh, thanks. See you soon, sweetie. Oh. Uh, so long, huh? She must mean you. Uh, 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 oh. Easy, easy there, little fella. Come on, come on. There you go. Uh, now, stay. Jack. Pomeroy! Here you go, little fella. I got something for you. Okay. Come with me. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. There you go. <laughs> okay, here you are. Yeah, nice little puppy. <laughs> uh, this isn't working, Elliot. How can I make a daring escape when I'm covered in puppy drool? You're right, Ace. I am? Yep. This isn't working. Let's start with this adventure from scratch. Oh. <laughs> Pomeroy, want Elliot to draw a nice Ace Heart story? Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Rosa, fetch for me the morning edition. Well, where is my paper? Wrapped around this puppy, Uncle Bugsy. What a cute little fella. I will hug him and pet him and love him and... Whoa! <laughs> Allow me to commence with the introduction of our new secret weapon. Puppy Face Felsen, the world's greatest criminal child impersonator. Bugsy and me are old pals, see? I have contracted his employment for the express purpose of stealing the Hope on a Rope Diamond. I'm the only mug what can get close enough to Zsa, Zsa Gabak to snatch it off her neck, see? Cause there ain't a dame in the world what can resist these innocent baby blues. <laughs> what kind of jewel thief wears a diaper? But you know, he is kind of cute. You know it, bud. Huh? Wow! <laughs> Wakes every time. Puppy face, this could be the beginning of not only a beautiful relationship, but a senselessly violent one as well. <laughs> this is Bow Bow Wow Wow reporting. It's a wet weather day in Dog City. Hundreds of adoring fans have congregated to greet international dog star Zsa Zsa Gabak, whose wobbly paws are going to be immortalized in cement here at Man's Best Friend Pekingese Theatre. Zsa Zsa is wearing the renowned Hope on a Woke Diamond, so security is tight. Keep your nose to the ground. I don't want any suspicious characters getting close to that diamond. Right, Chief O'Gravy! Okay, puppy face. This is as close as we can get. Don't sweat it, boys. I'll take it from here. Thank you, darlings. Thank you. Why, you filthy little rug rat. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, what a darling little puppy. Ooh. 
Why, yeah, yada. Smile for the nice photographers, you with all cutesy wootsy wootsum. <gasps> My diamond! It's gone! <laughs> 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 He's got the diamond! Move it! Heal in the name of the Lord! Make haste! Open it, boys! Open it! Oh, this is is making me crazy! I am disappointed, to say the least. Me too. I taught Miss Gabak had much smaller paws. And find my diamond! No! Ah! Hold on, puppy. You might get hurt. Sergeant, check around for his parents. <laughs> we better find a safe place for you. <laughs> About time. You think you could find a pot for me? This is my show. From here on in, Ace, it's all yours. Thanks. Read all about it! Big Star loses Big Rock! Please say cases! Hopeless! Hey, Yeti! I'll take a paper. Ooh. Lucky it wasn't the Sunday edition. Afternoon, Detective. I uh, see you've read about the diamond theft. Yeah. Sounds like the kind of story I could really sink my teeth into, Rosie. Your fee's still five bones a day. Plus expenses. What'd I tell you, boys? Cheapest puppy sitter in town. Puppy sitter? What about tracking down a stolen diamond? That's police business, Ace. All my men are booked up with this hope in a rope case. I need someone to find the kid's parents. Elliot! <laughs> Ace Hot does not puppy sit. If I can do it, you can do it. Oh, and you're doing a great job. Listen, Elliot, I'm a P.I. That's private investigator, not puppy interrogator. <laughs> the puppy dog eyes won't work, Elliot. I won't puppy sit. I'm a detective. I'm a sleuth. I'm... <sighs> a sucker for a crying puppy. Okay, I'll do it. I knew I could count on you, Hart. And Ace. Good luck. Uh, Elliot, uh, might I uh, trouble you for one or two puppy care items? Sure thing, Ace. Thanks. The first order of business was finding the kid's parents. I posted flyers all over town. <laughs> <laughs> that was very violent. But not entirely senseless. I would be loath to think that you was attempting to abscond with my diamond. Puppy face don't welch on nobody, see? I got nabbed by the flat paws. I had to keep up the baby act. The rock's safe and sound, you get me? Now let's hightail it out of here before... Yikes! Don't ever talk to strangers, especially when they have a rap sheet as long as my hind leg. After that, Mutt! He's got my diamond! Don't worry, kid. You're safe with me. I'm all right. Where'd he get to? You who, fella? I'm all right. Uh, here, boy. Oh, are you in there, little fella? No! Oh, uh, Pomeroy, are you out there, little fella? Uh, did open the door for Uncle Elliot. Uh, it's sure getting dark early these days. What the...? <gasps> Delio. I'm coming! Ace Pomeroy! Whoa! Under the fence, I'm going to ride the bike. They've come from.
from far and wide. But who will rule as king of the jungle? Attack! Back! They fight to rule. They fight to win. They fight to fight. Attack! Back! This guy's bark is just as bad as his bite. But if they don't play by Sliminator's rules, he'll give them all the slime of their lives. Attack Unleash back. the beast. Attack Pack. You can collect them all, each sold separately, only from Hot Wheels. She has a cold. I know how to make my baby feel better. Baby, get well, you tell me. Oh, feel good. <laughs> baby, get well, you show me. Her cheeks are all red, because you have a fever. Your medicine will help. So, baby, get well, I'll make you all better. Her cheeks are because her fever's gone. Baby, get well. You tell me when you're better, too. Oh, better. Mommy took good care I of you. <laughs> Baby, get well comes with medicine bottle, thermometer, and says six phrases. Battery's not included. The performance edge, the edge that makes you win again and again and again, my friend. You see, once you start smoking, you start choking. Smoking ain't cool, and I'm not joking. Boy, you play drinking alcohol. You be planning to lose and losing the ball. Wiped out, burnt out, dehydrated, plan so bad that you were intoxicated. So if you dream of being great, keep the performance edge. Keep your act straight. <laughs> Pomeroy, no! Be careful, little pup. You could have hurt yourself. Him? What about me? Oh, but sorry, Ace. <clears throat> Elliot, the kid. Yeah, it was a pretty rough landing, but the important thing was the kid was out of danger. Obviously, I wasn't. Ouch! <laughs> Huh? Ah, ah, ah. Hey, you're quite the scrapper, kid. And you're quick. But Uncle Ace is quicker. Did I say that? I guess the pup was getting me. After all, he was a kid after my own heart. Ace heart, that is. Private eye, dog. Yeah, he was tough, all right. Maybe too tough. Get away or turning you inside out with those dog-in-the-window eyes of his. Ah, oh, Uncle Ace hurt your little feelings? What could Uncle Ace do to make it all better? Take one in the kisser, pooch. No tough guy's gonna frisk me here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Filing cabinet very dangerous. Puppy fall down, go boom! Hey, wait a doggone second. What's this? You got something stashed in there, pal? I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, kid. We're just gonna have to change that dirty diaper. Now, hold still. Hey, who put out the lights? Kid took a powder and gave me the slip. You had to admire him. He had moxie. Yeah, the dog pound has been at me stuck in that joint. And just where do you think you're going, little fella? Here, here, puppy. <laughs> Oops, uh, sorry. Excuse me, pal. Lose something, Ace? Just my last shred of self-respect. Thanks, Rosie. Any luck finding his folks? Nothing. How about you? Not a trace. Looks like you may be stuck with him for a few more days. <laughs> And no sweat, the little mutt sort of grows on you. Like a wart. You got away with words, Ace. Junior! We've been so worried about our little bundle of joy. <laughs> it's driving us crazy. You're his folks? Uh, yep. Mama! Dada! <laughs> well, so long, kid. Give me a call when you learn how to talk. You got the diamond? Just a minute. Could I see some ID? Uh, yep. Bruiser? 
I should have known. So now Bugsy Vile's list of senseless crimes includes pup napping. <clears throat> Fork over the kid, Hart. Rubber baby buggy bumpers to you, Bugsy. Sort of do this, kid, but it's the only way. Rosie, go long! Step on it, Rosie. Follow that car! <laughs> ah, look, the kid wants to play peekaboo. Peekaboo, I see you. Yeah, little fella. Let me strap you in. Yeah, all safe and snug. Don't look now, but I think we're being tailed. Hang it right. You sure? I know this city like the back of my paw. <gasps> Does the back of your paw normally look like a side order of linguine? Down, boy, down! Hey, that's not bad. Look at those big cliffs you drew. And all those sharp, sharp rocks. That's very good. Hey, Rembrandt. Oh, sorry, Ace, I was just giving the pup a little encouragement. Well, I'm encouraging you to draw us out of this mess. All right, Ace. All right. Quick, Rosie, pull in here. Dog City Park? That's a perfect place to hide a kid. We'll blend right in. You mean, pretend to be the pup's parents? <gasps> you think you could pull it off? Well, I don't know if I've got your nappy pups. You ain't so bad yourself, sweet please. <laughs> what do you think, Widow? <clears throat> Rosie, the pup's gone! Uncle Ace, kiss Boo Boo, make it all better. Thought this might come in handy. Come on, puppy. <laughs> Whoa, the hope and a rope diamond. Could the kid have snatched it? Not my puppy. Bugsy must have stolen the diamond and stashed it on the kid. That would explain why Bugsy's been after him. I applaud you on your brilliant leap of deductive reasoning. Now hand over the diamond. Or do we have to get senselessly violent? Okay, you can have the diamond, Bugsy. Just don't hurt the kid. Please don't make me go back there. I'll do anything. I swear to dog. Perhaps you would care to give us an instant replay of that famous Ace Hot Forward Pass. Now the pup, Vile. Sure thing, Hot. Oops. <laughs> Time suddenly slowed to a crawl as my mind raced. The puppy or the rock? Junior! I'll take the gang! Free at last. Hang on, Junior. Uncle Ace is coming. No, not hot. Anything but hot. <sighs> Don't look, kid. Relax, kid. The train's long gone. This is the perfect chase. It's not only senseless, it's childish! All right, Vile. Are you gonna come along peacefully, or do I have to... Send for reinforcements. Ah! Why, you little... <laughs> Paws off the pup, you big bully. Collar him, Rosie. My pleasure, Ace. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Don't want big shiny toy get stuck in puppy's widow throat. Nice work, Ace. Now I guess we should find a home for the pup till we locate his parents. Yeah, I'm gonna miss a little guy. But you're right, Rosie. The world of a private-eyed dog is no place to raise a kid. 
Can you picture a detective like me settling down trying to raise a litter? For a minute there, I thought you were going to tell me you were thinking about adopting him. Hmm. You think maybe... Oh, no, you don't! I confess, see, I'm Puppy Face Felson, and I stole the Hope on a Rope diamond. Just send me to the dog pound, please. Hey, wait for me, guys. Don't leave me with this nut. Wait! Puppy Face Felson? Elliot, what's the idea? Shh. Pomeroy is finally asleep. What's the idea not telling me the kid was Puppy Face Felson? Sorry, Ace. I just didn't have the heart. <laughs> You were so head over tails for him. Of course, I would never fall head over tails for a kid. Elliot? Shh. Hi, Colleen. He's sleeping. <laughs> oh, they are so cute when they're asleep. That's dangerous, too. He is adorable. Uh-huh. Woof. Say goodbye to Uncle Elliot. Goodbye, Uncle Elliot. He said my name. Thanks for being such a sweetie. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Of course, you would never fall head over tails for a kid. Oh, and I suppose you never said, Oh, Uncle Ace hurt your widow feelings? Yeah, sure I said it. In the line of duty. How'd you like double duty? Oh, what are you gonna do, draw me twins? Well... Now, let's not get <laughs> hasty, Elliot. Or better yet, why not a whole litter? <laughs> Elliot... Wheels can really get you places, including some places you don't want, like the emergency room. Learn how to use your wheels properly. Wear a helmet and pads. And remember, your most important safety equipment is under your helmet. Use your head and stay safe. A message from the Will Rogers Institute, White Plains, New York. Hey, kids, want a ride? If someone you don't know offers you a ride, you're out of there fast. Run to a school, someone you know, or a police officer. Children, be aware. Hershey's Fifth Avenue. It'll make you go. Hey, kids, want to know something funny? I like it. We've just found Bugs Bunny. I ain't nobody rabbit. And we've got it right where we want it. Holy cats, I've been grabbed. Bugs Bunny and Greedo. Premiering today on ABC. One way to wind this up with a bang. I'm Sir Chomps a lot. I've lost control for these little raviolis in this great big bowl. Through the shop! It's a ravioli run. Through the shop! Your feet got to stomp. Through the shop! Through the shop! Through the shop! Chef Boyardee, Sir Chomps a lot. Bite sized raviolis, and now. New bite sized lasagna. And bite sized O rings with meatballs. I'm chomping for joy. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Cat copier lets you copy and stretch your drawings. <laughs> Twirl and mix gag. Do a gag sneeze. <laughs> now you've gone too far. Make gag creatures. <laughs> Start a gag band. How many ways can you play with gag? <laughs> Nickelodeon gag splats and gag copier. Each sold separately from Mattel.
magic flowers made by me. What are you doing? I'm making a beautiful bouquet of flowers. How? With my fantastic flowers flower making set. Wow. So many colors. They so pretty. Fantastic flowers made by me. Look what we made, Mom. Fantastic. Fantastic flowers made by me. Fantastic flowers flower making set comes with everything here. Retail sold separately. Access Hershey's chocolates. Bless this homework, O oh wise one. Hey, you miss me, Thor? Yeah! Whoa, package delivery. Hmm, probably something of mom's. Uh, just leave it, please! Wow, this ain't for mom. It's for me? Huh, wonder who could have sent it. Cool. Looks Egyptian. Ah, that's it. Okay, okay. Uh, that's an in which, and that's a nit, which means strong or mighty. You have been chosen to be the cap bearer? Go to the Mini Mart and wait for a sign, Mighty Max. <gasps> Mighty Max! I'm dreaming! Man, 
don't think they made this one in Taiwan. Hmm. I guess I blew a fuse or something. So, you think I'm dumb enough to go to that mini mart? Boy, I hope this is some kind of joke. Well, at least I'll pick up an El Supremo comic if nothing else. What in the... Not the cupcakes! Big Ed? Back! Back! Taste my Louisville slugger, sucker! Get out of here, Max! Last, the mighty one. Ah, I see you received my package as prophesied 5,000 years ago. Do help him up, Norman. After all, you are the guardian of the mighty one. Hey! Yeah! Don't mess with me, buddy. Uh, I know the ancient deadly art of, um, uh, voodoo. Yeah, yeah, and I can rip your eyes out and show them to you before you die. Right then, just follow us to the portal, Mighty Max. It must be around here somewhere. Ah, glad that's settled. I'd hate to hurt either of you two guys. So, where are we? Mongolia. Mongolia? Hey, what are you talking about, man? How'd I get here? Oh, here it is. Hey! Wait for me! Okay, now what's this all about? And how can you look like a... a chicken? My name is Virgil, and I'm a fowl, not a chicken. <clears throat> you are Mighty Max, the chosen one. Chosen one? Oh, what I win? Cash? Prizes? Video games? <laughs> Where's that McMahon? All will be explained, but we must hurry. Just step forward into the portal. Look! I just see rock, and if you think... All right. If you don't come clean with what just happened, man, I am gone! Well, if you insist. But I've only had five eons to practice this speech. Here goes. <clears throat> Every person has a gift, and in their gift lies their destiny. You, Mighty Max, are a hero, and you have been chosen to wear the last cosmic cap to victory. As such, you, the wearer of the cap, have access to the long-lost transport of the gods. Hey! Hey, it's glowing! <laughs> sort of a super subway system, as it were. Come along. You are the focus of the powers of good. Norman and I are here to aid and serve you. Ah, oh, don't feel so bad, big guy. There'll be other heads to chop, I'm sure. I am very wise and shall instruct you in the ways of being a hero. 
my speciality. Great. Chicken teaching me to be brave. Norman is your guardian, the ultimate bodyguard, as it were. He's quite unstoppable. He shall protect you from the smaller inconveniences that crop up from time to time. Where is that portal? Basically, you're it. Mighty Max. Yeah, but this mighty stuff, it sounds wussy. Mighty is a title of courtesy, like Mr. or King. Hey, this is my block! I'm back home! You are mighty, understand? Yeah, if you say so, just don't call me that, okay? Yes, mighty Max. And another thing, what was the flaming pyro thingy waiting for me at the mini-mart? A lava beast, and at the ordained mini-mart. Skullmaster knows of you, then he must almost be free if he has sent his minions. Is there something you're not telling me? Street Fighter. You're no Street Fighter. Not until you master the six world warriors of the Street Fighter 2 handheld game. Hundred hand slaps and rolling attacks, fireballs and hurricane kicks are your weapons. Beat three in a row. Zangi, Honda, Blanca. Then we'll talk. Street Fighter 2 handheld game. New from Tiger. Batteries not included. Playing hard and you'll come through. Once more, Tony. Bring out the tiger and blue. That's it. Doing your best takes practice and smart eating. Like this complete breakfast, including the sweet crunch of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Come on, see if you're any good. Good, there you are. Great. Great. Show Get ready for the ultimate shootout with Turbo Shot from Micro Machines. Because what gets loaded into Turbo Shot comes out racing and ripping for the target. Turbo Shot. You just load them up and shoot them out. Micro Size is super small. New Micro Machines Turbo Shot comes with everything here from Galoo. Look, I think I should know whether this house has a basement or not, okay? I mean, I've only lived here all my life. No, no, it says so in the scroll. I'm sure there's a basement around here. <laughs> Looking for this? <laughs> I guess there is one. your cap. This is the gateway to Skull Mountain. In my basement? What better place? You are the chosen one. Oh, great, Verge. So, Skullmaster's on the other side of that? And he's probably got a million zillion lava beasts with him, huh? Come on, I'd have to be a complete moron to go through there, then. I'm not going, no matter what. Wow! <laughs> He's gone. Wow. I guess a chosen one's gotta do what a chosen one's gotta do. Well, here's to saving the world. And Mom, and my friends, and Virgil. Uh, no chance we had the wrong address, huh?
turn around so I may see you. No, no, don't tell me. Let me guess. Skullmaster, right? You're the chosen one. Prophesied to destroy me. <laughs> You're a worm. <laughs> An insect. <laughs> I'm nothing. Hey, don't get me steamed, bonehead, or I'll gnaw your ankles off. Gee, I sounded tough enough. Five thousand years of anger and fear, and now I find you are not at all. Great! Then we can be friends? Shake? Oh, 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 one second, Don. Uh, wait! I think I hear my mom calling me. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but she's a real monster if I'm not home by dinner, so... <laughs> More than me. One more step, big fella, and this puppy takes a fall. Come, Prende. Don't touch that crystal. Ah, you were saying? No! <laughs> Do you think you can run away from me? Virgil! <laughs> I knew you'd come. Yeah, well, can't let you go hogging the glory and all. Ah, wonderful. Now on to Skullmaster. Yeah, look, Virg, before we do anything rash... Uh... Oh, the chosen one! Uh-oh, I think we're in deep dish pizza now. Kill. Kill. Hey, Birch, can chickens fly? What was that? Someone mind terribly. Thank you. Mighty Max says, find us the portal out of here fast or kiss your kebabs goodbye. Like someone's rototiller got a little out of hand, huh? The portal should be just up ahead. Maybe another 30 feet. Birch! The portal's 30 feet out there in midair? Over that? Oh, man, someone tell me there's another way out. There is. Skullmaster! Have no fear, you are destined to win. Um, good to see you again, Mr. Skullmaster. <laughs> Scully. So, how are you doing? Slowly suck the marrow from your bones. That's it. We're has -beens. But I'm taking that sucker with me. Hang on! I don't know what I'm doing! Here goes nothing! Destroying my tunnels! Open 
wide and say, ah! What are you doing? Being the mighty one! I hope you're right about that portal being out there, Virgil. The map has never been wrong in 5,000 years, and... What? No. You don't mean... What, like we have a chance here? Am I Mighty Max or aren't I? One... will die, chosen one. You will die! so bold on Earth? But where on Earth? Somewhere in Australia, I think. Should be a portal to Madagascar, only 50 miles or so from here. 50 miles? No way, Jose! Hey, I'm the mighty one, you remember? I just saved the world from certain destruction. I ain't moving. Find a closer portal. There aren't any. Tough. I'm not going. Um, Virgil? Norman? Hey, you guys, I was just kidding around. Can't you take a joke? <laughs> so normal, buddy, a big hunk of nothing. How about a piggyback ride, huh? After all, I am Mighty Max. <laughs> oh, please. Premiering today, Rhythm. It's what you tap your foot to, what you clap to, what you make to. A Saturday special, Rhythm and Jam, starring Cool Mo D. Rhythm and Jam. Getting in the drugs and being high is the best thing to do. Be an original and take a stand to free to say no. Let a friend put you in, taking drugs, you got it right. This is ABC. Local kids plug into all teen TV on the next Fast Forward today at 1. Have my baby checkup feeling. I'll make you all better now. Baby checkup. Mommy knows how. Baby checkup. I really hear your heartbeat. Oh, your fever's high today. The medicine I'll give you makes it go away. You're just fine. I'll make you all better now. Baby checkup. Mommy knows how. Baby checkup. New baby checkup comes with a magical stethoscope, thermometer, and medicine dropper. Batteries not included. Well, this week, we went to Mongolia and Egypt and then to India, where we saw the Taj Mahal. In 1630, Shah Jahan started building it as a shrine for his wife. It took 20,000 men 22 years to complete. <laughs> you know, I think it'd take just about that long to clean my room. See you next week. <laughs>